welcome back to the vlog. I've decided I want to do a week in my life, but like a real, real work week in my life. I want to take you guys through what busy week will be like working in the store um, and maybe out of it, but mostly in the store um, because I feel like when I get to work, I just forget to film. And so I feel like you guys don't really get a real day in the life or week in the like life of a shop owner um this morning i went and picked up some packages for my mom's and then i've just got to work it's all dark and i need to set up for the day I need to unpack things so yeah this is a real realistic week in my life as a shop owner good morning i've come by my parents house to pick up I pick up flowers and I pick up packages and this morning I'm picking up a package my beautiful duckies are here come say hi Nico I love you but yeah it's always nice coming and seeing them in the morning hey Freeds the autumn days lately have been so lovely I've just been loving them picked up this box I'm so excited this is a new new addition to the store new like brand that we haven't had in before and that always excites me it's called Le Bon Shop it's actually like an American brand um, so yeah heading to work now gotta got a blast before but I've been a long time fan of this brand and that's pretty much what I like to stock in store are brands that I've loved for a while or looked at for a while I haven't actually tried their products until recently but I have like loved their stuff for a long time and it's a sock brand all the way from America so I'm very excited to show you guys I will say like my favorite part of the job is shopping it actually has helped so much with my shopping addiction so yeah highly recommend okay now the brand that we've got in is the Le Bon Shop and they have some really cute socks I'm so excited so the first style we went with I went with one of these like brown kind of like rugby style and then we've got these like cottage socks I have this pair myself at home and I love them kind of like a speckly marl then we've got white which everyone loves a white sock then we have this like it's kind of like a gray green smoked sage smoke sage gorgeous and then we have a brown pair I'm so excited so I really want to put them on display because I feel like they're super cute and would just look good on display so I've got this little basket that we have these gorgeous prints in but we have prints like kind of throughout the shop so I can move these to another spot and I think this would this little basket would work really well for, for the socks. Now I've got six of each. I'm thinking of just putting three out at a time. Um, look how cute the packaging is. Is it gonna focus? So cute. I haven't really like thought too deeply on how to merchandise, but I feel 
like that. Looks cute. What do we think? It just is so exciting for me when I get a brand in that I always like, I've admired or looked looked at and it just feels so real. Like these are the pinch me moments of owning a shop. Um, oh, they're so cute. So cute. I could probably put these. Maybe I'll put these in a different spot. Hmm, I've got to think about it. So I put them out like this. I think they look really good in this basket here on that little bench and then I need to get another basket actually, but I thought they, I'll just like lay these ones out in this little tray. I think that looks okay, but it's not my favorite. Actually, I need to refold that knit, so don't, don't look too closely. Not my favorite, but she will do for today. The cafe next door always brings me in a coffee. I obviously I pay for it, but I mean, like, if I can order them, we'll bring it in. It's so lovely. I went with a mocha this morning because I felt like a hot chocolate, but I also need like a smoky coffee. I want to take some content of the beautiful socks. So I always like to like lay them down on the floor because we've got like these beautiful white floors. And I feel like it's, it's a big drop. I feel like it's a good backdrop. this morning like the lighting is very blue so I'll just move it around a bit I'm gonna turn on the overhead light I don't think I like the overhead light I'm gonna film a little reel as well since it's pretty quiet today and I need to get some content because Mother's Day is this weekend and it's coming up really quickly and I want to do like a last minute gift guide kind of idea it's a bit of a slow day today and sometimes days like today can really send me spiraling because I'm like yeah are we gonna make enough are we gonna blah 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 what am I doing <laughs> you know like it just I go down a rabbit hole but I'm really trying not to and just remembering that one bad day doesn't mean a bad week so yeah, and I also, it also kind of like encourages me and motivates me to do more marketing, which is really good. So sometimes like the slow days can be good because they motivate me a bit more. <laughs> Another box arrived. It's three, which I usually shot on at three during the week, but I have Pilates tonight. So I'm gonna stay open for a little while longer and just unpack all the goodness. gift wrapping I love when brands do that this is our perfume oil company and I would say it's the bread and butter of our store we sell so many of these shop but we got a bunch of deliveries that I worked on unboxing putting in the system putting on the website I did some content I had some chats with some people <laughs> had a long chat with mom it's just about I think I was saying this before you have to realize that it's sometimes it's a quiet day but not a quiet week and at the end of the day, there's nothing I can really do. Like there's only so many people that walk in. Not everyone wants to buy something. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I have to just let go. Um, and I've realized that everything always works out. It always works out. It always works out. And so even on the quiet days, I just, 
keep telling myself that, remind myself that, and it makes me feel a lot better. But I've got about an hour until Pilates, so I'm going to read this book. I started it last night, Fate, Inked, and Blood, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna read that for probably like 40 minutes, then get changed for Pilates, head over, chat to my girls at Pilates. I love it there. Good morning, it's the Friday before Mother's Day. It's kind of like gloomy, rainy vibes out today. It's autumn in Australia, so I kind of, I kind of love it. We've had beautiful weather this past week, which I also have loved. I had yesterday off from being in the shop, so my mom worked yesterday, and I do like all the banking, behind the scenes things. I was doing a lot of work, but essentially it was like my day off from the shop. So there's a few things that she unpacked yesterday that were super exciting to have in store. Like I said, Mother's Day is on Sunday, so we have been go, go, go in prepping for Mother's Day. We did pre-orders for flowers this year because we wanted to see how many we would sell and just, you know, mom doesn't have a ton of flowers. She grows all the flowers herself, so it's kind of stressful to not know how many people are gonna show up on the day and want them. So we did a pre-order, I think it was like, we've done, around 20 bunches and they all sold out so that is pretty crazy because that means we have to do about 20 bunches tomorrow for saturday most people are picking up on saturday and then we want to have like a few available on the day um but yeah it's just been really crazy and we're super super grateful for all the support on the flower bunches but it's been kind of quiet in terms of people shopping in stores so yeah, I'm hoping today picks up a little bit because I always, I don't know, I kind of expect it to be busy on Friday and so far I've had like one person in so that kind of stresses me out sometimes, but it is always a roller coaster and you just gotta ride it. So I'm gonna show you guys what is new in store today. So we've had This Is Incense in since nearly the beginning and they do really well for us. And we decided to get some new incense holders from this brand called The Auditive. They make really cool incense holders and they go really well with our incense that we have in. So that's really exciting. Beautiful accessories like this do pretty well for us. So I'm really excited to have them in store. They also have little candle bases, which I don't have any candles. I need to get candles actually. But there's some, this is another little Candle Labra, I think it's so cute. And then these little tea light things are really, tea candles, super cute, they're only $15. I think that is a really good price for these little guys. They're so cute. And then this is like a little jewelry dish or something. I love that. And then in this room, I've put some of mom's dried flowers in here. I think it's beautiful, but this is one of the vases that we got. I think this is gorgeous. And this cool, funky, again, maybe a jewelry tray or something. <laughs> Good morning. Um, ah. Good morning. I'm on my way to the shop. Uh, it is Saturday morning. For some reason, I decided to go with a full makeup look today. I never wear full makeup to work. Um, but I just like, I added lipstick and then I was like, well, I need to add mascara then I can't have like bare eyes with lipstick and full face so yeah I feel really strange heading to work like this but sometimes it just calls for it and I'm actually really excited because mom and I are working together in the shop today and tomorrow and we really typically don't work together really ever like maybe I'll go for an hour and help her or she'll come for a couple hours and help me on like busy days but we never work like full days together although if it's not very busy she will go home early because she has been really busy with the flowers I've got our small flower orders in um, beside me so this is for one of our local businesses they ordered six small bunches for 
their stuff. So I've got those and then my mom has the rest. And we spent, like I went over there and helped her for a couple hours last night. She, I think, stayed up late bunching flowers. So yeah, she's worked really hard on this Mother's Day launch. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get any footage last night because we were just working really hard to get those things ready and all the flowers ready. But they all look so beautiful and I hope everyone loves them. Um, I'm kind of nervous about how the weekend will go because we've already sold all the benches. So in terms of like money wise, I we've like made that money for that, which is great. So I'm just kind of interested to see if it will be busy. The cafes have said that they're all fully booked. Cafes, restaurants in our town have said they're all fully booked for Sunday, which is a good sign. Means lots of people will be coming through and maybe they'll just want to come in and treat themselves. I don't know. It's a roller coaster. Like we never know, we never know how it's gonna go. So, so yeah, I should get to work in about 30 minutes and then we'll just see how the day goes. Hopefully I can film a decent amount for you guys. <laughs> it has been such a hectic morning. So busy that I, well, look at my hair. My hair's falling apart. Haven't had a chance to film anything, but it's good. It's a good busy. So, yeah. How cute she is. You're killing it. How many bunches have you made in the past couple of days? Yeah. Look how empty. Our flower stand is. <laughs> the day has ended. I don't know if I look tired. My lipstick all. <laughs> Do not judge the lipstick. I've been yapping my face off, but the day's done and I'm headed home and I am exhausted. But I feel for my mom because she's going home to cut more flowers and bunch more. So her day isn't even over yet. Um, but yeah, look at our little empty, empty flower stand. It was a really fun day. I'm really grateful. I'm so grateful. I can't. <laughs> what a busy day Mother's Day has been. <sighs> what a crazy weekend. I My feet are sore, my legs are sore. I'm having a little chai before we go out for dinner. But it's been really wonderful. And we feel super grateful for all the support and love. Wednesdays, um, but today I'm just feeling so drained. So I'm just gonna relax and not feel guilty. I did a couple orders, unboxed some things that I forgot to film. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just tired. So we're gonna take it easy. 
I just went to the shops. My dear friend is about to give birth. She's about a week away, but you know, babies come whenever they want. Um, so it could be any day, could be weeks, but she was checking in with her today and she was saying that she was really not feeling well. Um, got a cold and she's stressed because if the baby comes now, she's not feeling well. So, um, I'm going to make her some minestrone soup. She loves minestrone soup. So I'm going to make her some, um, I was going to make some for me for dinner anyway, but I'm going to just double up. So I got her and her beautiful family, a loaf of sourdough and then I got us a loaf and yeah, I'm just going to make a double batch of my favorite minestrone soup for her and bring it over to her this evening. In case you're wondering what I put in my minestrone soup, put leek, put onion, put zucchini, celery, carrot, and then I have it, I don't usually put pasta in it because I'm making it for her, I thought I'd do pasta as well. Um, and can I usually just do cannellini beans um, because that kind of replaces the pasta, but as I'm making it for a friend, I'm gonna make it special with the pasta as well. So yeah, it doesn't take long, um, but I'm gonna get cracking on it because it's already two and I wanted to get it done before this afternoon, so yeah. I was cold but I finished my soup it is full of noodles <laughs> probably put too many in but that's all right and then I was in the mood I was in the kitchen and cooking so I'm like oh, I might as well whip up a banana bread so I decided to make a Biscoff berry banana bread so that's cooking right now it's like looks dark but hasn't cooked through I keep poking it with my skewer I don't know, maybe it's the um, berries and the biscoff making it look different. I don't know, but yeah, I've got my beautiful soup and my banana bread. I feel so accomplished today. <laughs> biscoff banana bread. See how brown it looks, but hopefully, hopefully it's all okay. This, this vlog is good. Actually, like my weekly one, I was editing it. It's my top record this week. It's funny. Oh, yeah. This camera's going to die. Guys, we're ready. We're going out. Girls, no! Good morning, good morning. I'm at Sari and Gabby's place and we're gonna go out. We had such a good night last night. We're gonna go out for breakfast and do the Campbell Market. Just a classic Melbourne, Melbourne stay. We had such a good time, such a good girls night. I feel like I look crazy. I look crazy. Yeah, we had such a good night. Just what, just what I needed. I love my friends. If you're watching, love you so much. I feel really lucky to have such amazing people in my life. Yeah. I'm at work today. 
and these are I think I've shown you some of the new knits that we got in um, but I'm wearing this one today to obviously I don't know try and sell it <laughs> um, but I'm unpacking them as well and I'm just trying to figure out I'm kind of changing things around doing a new layout and I thought I'd show you so we didn't have this bench here this was in another room but I thought we needed some like okay these are all a mess so I need to redo these but I thought we needed some more I don't know different in height difference in height something like that so this is gonna be cozy, cozy town over here. And I just need to organize this table. But yeah, I feel like there needs to be more heights, but I don't like the basket there. So I'm like thinking that needs to go off to the side or does it go on the table? I don't know, let's, let's figure it out together. And we usually have a chair there, so it's looking really empty, but I moved it outside today because we are, yeah, and all of these are the little things that annoy me. They need to be spaced out properly. <laughs> yeah, this area needs, just needs a bit of work, I think. I got me a chai, I got me, I got a chai. Ah, so good. Mm 